Are we the based utopian uh, uh, dictatorship or cringe military dictatorship? We are the based utopian dictatorship. And our perpetual dictator just got replaced by the secretary. So yeah. Uh, so we are gonna do a colonization. Or no, uh, not colonization. We are uniting the Gurani people under a nation state. We need total separation of multiculty to be even more utopian. Yep, uh, I think that should be one of the next things I change uh, <laughs> after this is done. Let's just slow down. Uh, like total separation would be nice. Mm, just so we, I guess it's just this allows all of the religious uh, uh, production methods, and then ob obviously we'll, we're gonna go down this path as well. Slavery? Oh, I think we have uh, legacy slavery. That is also something we're gonna get rid of, obviously. But for now, we kind of need the slaves to build our future. Because we can't... No one wanna... Uh, uh, no one wants to move to Paraguay, but we can import people into Paraguay. I think even though we're isolationist, if I look here... Uh, no, no, right, they're, it's legacy slavery, so it does not do that at all. Never mind. There we go. Oh no, Brazil is not in the Civil War. I did try the strategy of attacking Brazil as well, but I could not make it work. Mm. So, yeah, now it's only... Oh, so, so Paraguay and Chaco has it better than Corrientes. Uh, which is interesting. Um, what do the people here need? Uh, grain? They need food? I think we don't need tools right now. I think we need food. If I have a look here. Uh, I mean, tools is always needed, but this this kind of balance is fine. I think. Uh, I just want to make food as cheap as possible to show that our utopian dream is the right way to go. <coughs> mm -hmm. And come on, so we have 36% chance of success. 37. Mm -hmm. I like how my, my uh, economy says that. Uh, you can see where where we fought Argentina. Now we are just waiting for time to pass, basically. The Falklands have always been Paraguayan. <laughs> South America has always been Paraguayan. Oh, I do wish, so like when I was working on uh, Vicky 3, I'm gonna slow up. Uh, when I was working on Vicky 3, I was tem very tempted to make, um, uh, is it? No, it would be Bajo Paraguay to have a modifier for electricity, just like uh, Niagara Falls. Since I think one of the biggest hydroelectric dams are there today. But it would be... I, I, in the end, I decided it was too anachronistic. Mm. 
I mean, the Petit Bourgeoisie are the worst after landowners. Actually, what do our Petit Bourgeoisie stand for? I haven't checked. Middle manor, treasury bonds. Uh, reactionary, meritocratic, pat patriotic. Yeah, they... Uh, I and... Uh, uh, rural folk. Agrarian. That's good for what we need right now. Particularist. They want national militia. I'm actually... I can I, I can actually go in the national militia. Uh, strongly opposed debt slavery. Uh, they're okay with slavery banned. I don't think... Uh, yeah, they want uh, national supremacy. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we'll do this. I think it's worth it. And stock exchange. Yeah, Petit won uh, monarchy and national supremacy. Yeah, they're at odds with the utopian de despotism, I agree. The rural folk, though, are the backbone of, of our country. Them and the intelligentsia. It, it is the people in the cities and the people on the land need to work together to make this into a great country. The Paraguayan state. And 47, come on. It's almost 50-50. Uh, we're getting maize farms soon. There we go. Oh! Okay, I, I'll take it, I'll take it. 62 is nice. Uh, and uh, how fast do you go? Uh, okay, so pretty fast. And success here, uh, yeah, so, so success, so I've had a bigger chance to get that we go to the next stage rather than getting one of the advancements. If I get a debate now. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Government wages, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we do have quite a sizable, um, um, what do you call it? We have quite a sizable army for such a small country. What is it? So, not counting the conscripts, just regulars, we have 12,000 people out of uh, 500. What is that? So basically, 2% of my population are soldiers. Actually, that's not too bad. I mean, we are going to make it larger at some point. Uh, which reminds me... No, nah, we'll, we'll, keep we'll keep it separate. This one is going to be enlarged. Um, some point in the future. Kavya, thank you for resubscription. 41 months. Jeez, that's long. Did you finally get home? Besides planning to enact all the top and despotic laws, the plan is to unite Guarani people, right? Yeah, of course. That's why that's why I took Chaco from Argentina. <laughs> that's why so many <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's why so many uh Paraguayans died uh, to liberate Chaco. And why we are uh, passing this law. Uh, essentially what this law means is that we recognize that the Guarani territories are part of P Paraguay. That's what this bill is. And that we are going to be uh, seeking to incorporate them into us. Uh, because we are all Guarani. We are all Paraguay. 
I think we should integrate the lands we got. I I don't know if I should integrate it already. Uh, maybe I should. Uh, but I was wondering if I should first get this, but maybe maybe it's fine. Uh, right. Uh, I I started making paper. Um, yeah, paper mills are making very little money. Uh, because I forgot development here. Uh, filing cabinets. There. So now there's value in paper. I forgot. I forgot to do that. Uh, yeah, I know. I know there. There is. Uh, I just would need the paper mills to get going. Uh, we will subsidize them, since they literally had no one buying their product. I feel like normal. There should have been some demand from normal people of for paper. Mm. Oh, it didn't pass. Oh no, no, it did, it did. Oh, I'm in consideration. Nice. Okay, okay, so now another success is what we're rooting for. Okay, this is uh, going better. Uh, and how is our paper industry doing? I mean, paper is very, very expensive. Mm -mm. There we go. I'm gonna do that so everything is fine and everything should normalize can we do sulfite no we have no sulfur right uh, I really wish there was like a resource map mode uh, okay we're starting here uh, no we have rubber though Mm, no. Or maybe there is a better way to do it. I guess I could just go in here, resources. Yeah, there's nothing. The only resource we have is iron mines and logging camps. Uh, is Uruguay Guarani ho uh, homeland? No, it's not. Uh, I'm pretty sure I checked that. Uh, yes, yeah, Platinian. So, like, I mean, we are Platinian, so we could technically take it. But then, like, technically, with that, we could take a lot of land. Um, can we protect right through right? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm probably going to be doing... Right, so, we, us being isolationist means the only way for us to have a larger market without conquering is to make them puppets. Uh, which should be dual. This is kind of like the New England game playthrough I also have, where uh, I figured out that, sure, I can't build heavy machinery, but my puppets can. Uh, so that would probably be how we do it here as well. Technically, my law says I am not allowed to do this, but my vassal... Oh, wait, doesn't that mean my vassals are allowed to import things into the market? Uh, and now we are at adoption. Cool. And now grain is the last thing. Uh, you are building in Chaco. Um, so, yeah. We should... The problem I probably have here... I think I built the maze here. Mm, yeah. Uh, we did fill it. Uh, I don't think we need that. We have harvesting tools. Um, how much food are we using? It's still not producing enough. Then it has to have been somewhere else. Uh, rice farms are recruiting. Uh, so probably when we get that one up, everything should be a bit better. Uh, let's have a look. I don't think... I think what we need is just more, um... Uh, food. Uh, we, c we also do need more clothes, but I feel like this one can handle that. This needs a dye, which I don't think we produce. Uh, 
we don't need luxury clothes. Uh, so as long as this one is recruiting, we shouldn't upgrade you. So I am gonna increase this one. And we are gonna do that. And gonna do the same here. Probably put you there. I know someone last stream I played this told me I should not ever be building agriculture. But I mean, if if uh, the private industry won't, then I will. <laughs> Getting Argentina and Paraguay puppets. Uh, oh, you mean uh, Uruguay. Uh, and having them import surplus would increase uh, standard of living. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Essentially, we'll have an imperial core that never gets touched, and then we have our puppets around us. Oh, and you're upgrading that one, which does... No, you're in Corrientes. Oh, uh, that might be bad. How is your turmoil? Pretty okay. Rousing speech captivates the public. Oh, wait. No, that is not Patino. Uh, I need Patino to become more pop uh, popular. Uh... Actually, what do popularity do? I just think bad, low number, and I was like, that's bad. Me measure the willingness of pops to follow them. Popularity can have different effects depending on the character's role. Uh, yeah, so not sure what that does in this case. Oh, we're gonna, we're not gonna get to do this one. Um... That sucks. I don't think we're gonna make it, and if we look at them now, they're pretty powerful. Mm, and then plus their puppets on top of that. Yeah. <clears throat> I just need you to pass now. And then I need to colonize uh, Santa Fe real quick. Oh, actually. Yeah, but uh, we'll do that one first. Uh, oh, you're already done. Nice. Uh, so that changes some things. Mm. This one only uses coals, which th this means I can get more iron. Uh, but I can get more iron by burning tools and coal. But I don't have coal. There's no point in that one. I might need people to switch over to canneries, uh, to food. Do I have food industry? Uh, I do not. But that might be a more efficient way to feed the populace. Uh, the problem I have, I think, I think food industries require fish, right? For rulers, it gives authority. For IG leaders, it gives proper trust. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Betsy. Sab, but we're in a little shitling in the middle of nowhere. Yep, there is no way we could have done anything about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess it. I mean, we, we could probably. Um, but. It's fine. Uh, um. 
But if I remember correctly, right? Oh, no, no, that's not what I want. I want to be able to look at... Uh, this is also one thing I don't like. Like, I want to be able to see all goods, not only the ones that are in my market currently. I want to be able to go, oh, here is the, this trade good. I want to see what's uh, needed for it. Um, and we have you. Okay. So that is... Diplomatic, established colony, Santa Fe. I think uh, we should just focus on Santa Fe for now. Because I think, so we get this connected. And I think how the AI thinks is it wants to uh, finish up their states first, right? And then it goes on to the next thing. Um, so, all right. Uh, before I forget, institution, we want to upgrade you. We can afford it. Mm -hmm. Right. Is there some way for me to see? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring up uh, Wikipedia. Uh, there, Wiki free, um, Wiki food industries. Because I think it requires fish. You didn't lose ninety percent of your adult male population. No, I haven't. Argentina was barely in like, oh, <laughs> except for the magic uh, conjuring of troops from nowhere. Uh, Argentina was barely a problem. The strong Paraguayan military beat them like nothing. No, uh, that's not what I want. Um, what we want is industry buildings, food industries. Uh, they make groceries. So the base... Takes food and sugar. No, yeah. Food and sugar. And then jars. Jars uses fish. Or no? Where does the fish come from? Or does it as a base use fish, but using canneries reduces how much fish it needs? Because I don't see... I don't see fish here in this interface. It needs laborers, it needs grain... Uh, it takes... Oh no, okay, okay, no. So canneries will start... This is how it's written, okay. So canneries will consume fish. Uh, but as a base, it does not consume fish. That is a problem, because I don't think there's any way for us to get fish. So, researching canneries is pointless. We could maybe... Uh, get... Uh, something that gives us colonialism. Authority would be nice. Or better minting. Uh, I don't think we have an infrastructure problem yet. You should be able to get fish from rivers and lakes to us. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure fish is a big thing in Paraguay. Uh, I think quinine is the only thing that gives me more colonial affairs. Which requires pharmaceuticals, but it's only three years to research, so I could start this. Get a health system going. Could also just make it cheaper to have my population. Mm, don't need that. Authority is nice, but I'm using it quite heavily. Um... Just paying less interest would help me. Um, I 
I think what I'm gonna do is pharmaceuticals. We'll get to quinine and from uh, and uh, <coughs> hopefully we can colonize a bit faster. I mean, this is gonna take one year. So I'm gonna get three provinces, but it's gonna be ran these here before I get here. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we have a tools shortage. But now I am fine with doing this. I think right now my problem here is we don't have enough people. We kind of need to modernize. So, oh, so one thing I could do, I could. No, I don't have any coal. Is there any coal in any of in any of this land? Uh, wood, wood, wood. Oh, if I take Santa Fe from Argentina, I might do that actually. Then I can have fish. And then I get one fish. I get one fish if I take Santa Fe. I might do that. Mm, that's just wood. Uh, gold. Wood. That's lead. Lead is nice. Here's coal. So I would need to... In essence, what I would need to do is I would need to be... Uh, I added sulfur as well, so I kind of need Mendoza. I would need to... For my economy to work, sort of, I kind of need to conquer all of the way here. Or make them my uh, puppet. But I'm pretty sure they're way too big for that. Why stop at Santa Fe? Yeah, exactly. I should probably just take these. And then I just leave Buenos Aires for that, them. Yeah, I can, like, I'm okay with that. And then they can colonize all the way out of here. Pink is such an ugly color. Wouldn't that part of the map look so nicer if it was red? Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. Uh, um. Oh, 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 you need tools. Let's, um, yeah, let's lower that. Um, uh, oh, right, we got some new stuff. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we don't produce enough fertilizers, but if we do here, we will produce more fabric and fertilizers, but less meat. That's fine. Uh, if we push this one up, we get more meat, but use more tools. And now we just need the market to stabilize a bit. We should be producing fertilizers that are very cheap. Yeah, meat is fine. And uh, maybe... Right, so what I'll do is... Uh, where do we have the most uh, effective use of this? 8k workers... So this is 47. Uh, there. 50. So if we do this here... Uh, fertilizer will become very expensive, but we'll produce a lot more grain. So we do this, that should make the livestock ranches way more uh, uh, productive, so we actually get our fertilizers. Uh, yeah. We do the one, that should be enough, and it can be this one for now. <coughs> hmm. 
Wait, no, 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 I don't need another paper mill. Uh, consumption. Okay, so it is uh, taken by... Um, right now we need 10. So it's 11. Okay, maybe. Um, but we don't have enough people. Oh, right, we passed the law, so now we're moving on to the next law. I already forgot. So we can do separation, but I don't see how that helps me right now. I can get... Can I get you? Oh, I need to invent... Uh... God damn it, I need to invent feminism. Uh, but I can do property women. Uh, we have the landowners and Catholic Church that oppose it. That will give us, that will give me more workers. That would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, homesteading will give more political strength farmers. Uh, and it gives me homesteading and free peasants here. Um... Mm, we're staying as an autocracy. Slavery banned would make all of them consume more, wouldn't it? Actually, how big is my slave population? Uh, charts. Um, show more. So it's 18k people that would suddenly, or rather the workforce is 8k. So I would have 8k people that would become laborers and then potentially be able to move to some other role. Jesus, 11% of my population is... Servicemen? Holy crap, okay, so uh, I must have calculated that wrong before then. Uh, if... If almost 12%, oh wait, no, so of my workforce, it's 16%. Or, oh no, they are dependent. Oh, is this from everyone that has died? Oh, have I killed so many people that I have a large dependent, a large population of dependents of dead servicemen? Oh, crap. We should abolish the Spanish monarchy, not because of republicanism or whatever, but because the Spanish Republic flag has purple. Yeah, I think it's by default 25%. This is more than 25%. Uh, so yeah, that's all of the people that have died, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's 75%. So, like, it should be around 75% and then things happen. But so, what we can see is most populations here are the same. So, but here it has gone down by basically 10% almost. Based on peop how many people have died. Um, so, I don't uh, get anything out of freeing the slaves right now. I think the best thing I can do is get women to my workforce. I could... No, I can... I do not want close borders. Uh, I could get schools going? Um, 
But I don't think that's important now. What I need is workers. So we're gonna get some women into the workforce. And soon we're getting our... Oh no, we already have our first colony done here. And then we're getting another here. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> and there we go. It should go a little bit faster. Actually, it should go twice as fast. Also, uh, what was the difference again with frontier colonization? Oh, we get migration attraction in unincorporated states. Uh, cool. Oh, the, this one does the same. But how was... I, people said this one was so much better than colonial resettlement. Is it just because more pops are interested in this one, I guess? Okay, it's going up at least. It's very expensive. And here we get new... Uh, people. <coughs> what was it we could do with textile? Uh, um, if we have dye, I think... Uh, we have dye here. There's 31 k job seekers. Uh, but I think all of these... Oh, I can't properly see if I have any in the subsistence farms. Uh, so we go here. Employment, uh, yeah. Uh... If there's basically no one in the subsistence farms. There's 6k there, so I could make a die there. Uh, 1.6k there. Uh, yeah, so that's for you to recruit. So we're not going to build more here. Over a drink. Hmm. Uh, I guess we take this one. <clears throat> so I think what we want to do is Santa Fe to responsible for um, die. We can do that. And we're going to move you up. Yeah, because food is better now. Oh, and if we are, it is going up. Our living standard has gone way up. Uh, grain is still the, like the biggest expense. Uh, porcelain is ex incredibly expensive, but of course. Uh, tobacco is cheap, even though I have tax on it. Uh, we produce way too much of tobacco. Um, and clothes. So I do, I do want to produce more clothes. The problem is we don't have enough workforce, but we need dye for that. Uh, how are tools looking? Uh, tools are actually fine, so I'm gonna push you up there. Uh, we moved to consideration. I do feel... Uh, Dependents should be working farms by default. Maybe not children, but I feel like at least subsistence farms, right? Maybe not industrial farming or whatever, but subsistence farming should have... Uh, but maybe they are, it's just that I think I've gotten rid of all of them. So if I go to unusable agriculture... Uh, can I see dependents here? 
No, okay, they still have dependents. Uh, so I feel like... By default, but maybe that makes it hard to see how many can be recruited in to, like, your actual buildings. Uh, no, I want to go to Argentina. Uh, thank you. 6 plus 8 versus 12 plus 6. Uh, so yeah, if my manpower gets to recover, uh, I have cannons now. I don't think they have cannons. Uh, I should get some military tech. I can probably take more from them. Especially if I take Santa Fe. Uh, I just want to double check that they don't have any alliance. Oh, they have a def They still have a defensive pack with Uruguay. Um... From alliance with Uruguay. Oh, if I give them an obligation. No, oh, that's not happening. Uh, Prime Defensive Pact with Brazil. I'm okay with that. Basically, this is uh, North Korea and uh, China. <laughs> like, you know, technically isolated, but, you know, Brazil is not going to let anyone attack me. And our economy is doing great. This is nice. We have almost no unemployment in our country. Uh, we ha do still have quite a few peasants. I think most of them are here. Or here. Yes, the, these two together are like almost all of the peasants. Uh, we're gonna get a dye factory up here. Mm, I mean, the workforce here is gonna be growing quite fast. Uh, how many do you need? Uh, I, this is also one thing that annoys me. I don't... Like... I can't see here, like, okay, how many do you use, and what do you need? Uh, small things like that irritates me. So if we have a look here. Uh, oh, that's five levels. I want uh, one level, so probably 5k. Uh, we should be able to satisfy that. How many are living here? Uh, 8k more. So basically 11k people from here. Oh, this is going quite fast now. I guess I can't do any diplomacy with them. Oh, and all of this is Shaco as well. Mm, yeah, so we're gonna do Santa Fe first. And then this. Uh, and prepare for war. Uh, a landmark case. Uh, I don't care. Wait, uh, what... They're already minus two. Yeah, they are still pretty powerful, so we'll do plus ten percent is good enough. Um, and after this, I can probably start stop boosting you. Uh, just make things go a little bit faster, and we can probably use that later. How many people live? 16k people live there, 13k live there. It's not a lot of people. 46k there. 
Although, when I do get this one connected, that's going to be great. Um, kind of interesting that there's only that many peasants. There's nothing built here. Are there that many dependents here? Hmm. There might be. How many live here? 83k and it's going down. Their mortality is very... No, I don't think that's very right. No. Oh, uh, we have, now we have women in the workforce. Great. Oh, well, not the full law, but we have 5% of them. Um, they have so much migration. So many people are moving out. Oh, are they moving here? Probably. Oh, there's so many people that are living here. And I need this. Okay. Uh, before too many people migrate out, we need to kind of take it. Um, well, we'll do that when this is not isolated anymore. That's how I'm thinking. So what I'm thinking is we'll finish this up. And then we'll start colonizing these two. And then we attack him for uh, what we can. Uh, so what we have to fight is 6 plus 8 plus 4, so 18. We need to fight 18 regiments. Um, so we might actually need to staff up. Uh... We had 6k job seekers here, uh, but I think I want to use that for this here. Uh, yeah, I can't have more barracks there anyway. I think I maxed out here. Yeah, five. We have two there, but yeah, I think we're going to have all of these go uh, to this. Hmm. Uh, so what we can do, as soon as this one is not isolated, right, so, gonna want, yeah, because I don't think it's gonna let me build it there, right, um, military, no, that's not the one anymore. It would be... Oh no, right, you do it from this interface now. So if I do here... Yeah, I can't build there because they have no supply of small arms required for line infantry. I could do it here. At this one. Let's do one there, actually, and let's do one there. Mm, mm, and we're gonna have more people here, hedonist, traditionalist, bigoted. Um, that's nice. Oh, pillager. Pillager is super nice and cautious. Yeah, let's recruit you. Uh, we can afford some more. Uh, reckless. Mm. No, let's do Jose Codero. That should be pretty good. Uh, so that puts us up, up to 20. 
and for them I was fighting 18. So if we just combine that also with like some military attack, uh, it's, I feel like it should sit pretty well. Can I make them break this defensive pact somehow? Mm -hmm. How's the fertilizer uh, shortage going? Oh, you're still recruiting. Mm -mm. You have plenty of cash reserves, at least. Oh, and I have cash reserves. I missed that. Uh... Yeah, fertilizer is expensive, but at least food is cheap now. <coughs> now we just... Oh. A wine yard? Really? A wine yard?